Hey guys, this video is going to work with you over the assignment. It's a worksheet and it's labeled Find the Missing Dimensions of Cylinders and Cones. Um, up top you can see our I can statement we're working towards, which is I can solve for the missing dimensions for a cylinder or a cone. I'm going to be working out a couple of problems on this worksheet to kind of help you get you started. I'll also try to give you some direction in maybe saying number one also matches up with the work of number two or you're going to use the same formula or anything like that. So make sure you pause, rewind, do what you need to do in order to understand it, and let's go ahead and get started. Also, if you have any notes from Lesson 8, Chapter 8, get those out as well. Those are going to help you a lot with the formulas. So let's start with number one here. We have a cone, and it gives us the volume, and we're trying to find the height. So we don't know the height, we have the volume, and we also have the radius, okay? So I'm going to use the formula V equals base times height divided by 3. Now remember, our base is actually, what we're solving is pi r squared. So I'm going to start there. So it's kind of hard to see, but our radius is right here and it's 5. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this, and I'm going to put volume, which we know, I'm not going to put a V, I'm going to put 225 equals my base, which is 3.14 times 5 squared divided by 3. Now, I need to figure out that 5 squared right away. So we should know that that's going to be 25. So I'm going to rewrite that. So 225 equals 3.14 times 25 divided by 3. Okay, now I can actually just plug this into my calculator. I can do 3.14 times 25, and I believe that's going to get me 78.5, and then I'm going to divide that by 3, and I'm going to get 26.1, it looks like. Okay, so what I have left here, I got a little messy here. Don't forget your heights, too. I like to do that sometimes. So we have 225 equals... 26.1 because we did all of this math right here and we still have our height. Now we have to get h by itself because we're trying to figure out the height. So how I would do that is I would, since we're multiplying here, I'm going to divide. So I divide by 26.1, divide by 26.1. These would cancel out. I'm left with h. And 225 divided by 26.1 should give me 8.6 centimeters. Pause, rewind if you weren't sure of the steps that I was taking. If my work's a little messy for you and it doesn't make sense in your brain, do what's best for you, okay? Um, but just make sure you have this final answer of 8.6 centimeters. Now, number one is going to use the same formula. So is two, three, and four, I believe. So if you want to go ahead and pause the video, kind of get those done, and then go on to the next one, that's fine. I'm going to change up formulas on you, so keep that in mind. But two, three, and four are going to use the same formula because we're working with cones. Okay, the next one we're going to look at is number five. So this one's going to look a little bit different. We're still dealing with cones and things like that, but it's going to, we're trying to find diameter. Now diameter is not really in our formulas. We always use radius. So what we need to remember is if we have diameter, we're going to multiply it by 2 at the end. So we just have to remember that and we're going to solve it the same way. Okay, so I'm still doing a cone. So I'm going to have volume equals base times height divided by 3. Now let's fill in what we know. So it gives us our volume right here. So we have our volume. So we can do 3.6 equals our base. Remember, base equals pi r squared. Okay, so we don't know. Uh, we can put in 3.14, but we don't know radius squared, right? We don't know that because we're trying to find our diameter or radius. And then we also have our height, which is going to be 4.2. And we're going to take all that and divide it by 3. Okay? Now if you 
remember, Miss Youngers, we kind of drew like a little thing like this in class. So let's just go ahead and start there. So we have 3.14 times 4.2. In my calculator, I got, um, it looks like it was 13.188. And I'm going to take that and divide it by 3. And I'm going to get 4.3. 96. Okay. Again, if you don't like how I'm doing my work, that's fine. Just make sure you show yours. Um, it just makes more sense in my brain to break it down. Um, I don't like to just type all of this in because I'm afraid there's room for more error. Okay. So what I have left now is I did all this math. Okay, that's all done. This is my answer for that. So I have 3.6 equals r squared times 4.396. So just like in our other problem, we got to get r squared by itself. So we have to, instead of multiplying, we're going to divide. So I'm going to divide 4.396, divide by 4.396, okay? And you should end up with r squared, oops, sorry, let me flip that around. We should get 0.8 equals r squared. Now, if you remember back in last chapter when we were doing square roots, cube roots, things like that, we cannot leave a problem with a squared, okay? So what we have to do is we do have to do the opposite. So we would take the square root of r. These would cancel out. I'm left with r. And I would take the square root of 0.8. Now, when I take the square root of 0.8, I'm going to get 0.9 when we round it. Now we're done, right? No, not so much, okay? So we found our radius, but our question is asking us for diameter. So remember, we're gonna take it times two at the end. So we have our r squared, or sorry, we have r equals 0.9, so now I'm going to find diameter. I'm gonna times this by two, and I'm going to get 1.8 inches for my diameter. That one was a little bit more tricky. However, if you just take your time and really read that problem, really know what it's asking for, you will be fine. Okay? Um, I think there's a couple on here. Let's see. Maybe I didn't write it down for you. I think there might be another one on your assignment somewhere here. Uh, so just look out for that. Make sure you're solving for the right thing. Okay. The next one I'm going to do is 7. So seven, we're really changing formulas. I know I said that in the last one, but I lied. I'm sorry. Uh, so we're changing from cone to cylinder. Now, using our notes, the volume of a cylinder is going to be volume equals base times height. Now, remember, this base really means 3.14 times radius squared. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Don't forget that. Now, we're trying to find our height, so it's going to give us the other two. So let's go ahead and start filling in. We know our volume is 250, and that equals 3.14 times r squared times, oops, sorry, I was going off the other one. So we have eight, 8 squared. However, this is our diameter. So we can't put 8 squared because that's our diameter. So what would half of 8 be? Should be 4. So we know that's going to be our 4 squared times height. Um, remember, too, if you want to use the formula for this part, it's 2r equals d. So I would do 2r equals 8, divide by 2, divide by 2, r equals 4. That's how I got, oops, you can't see it. That's how I got that um, answer for our radius. But I just did that in my head. For the most part, they're going to give you pretty simple diameters, so you'll be able to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and start simplifying here. So 4 squared, I'm going to write this back out. 3.14 times 16 times height, because 4 squared would be 16. All right, so let's plug some stuff into the calculator. Um, if I do 3.14 times 16, that's going to give me 50.24. Still have that times height there, and that's still going to equal 250. Just like in our previous problems, we have to get h by itself, because that's what we're solving for. We're multiplying here, so we need to do the opposite. So 
So I'm going to divide by 50.24 here, divide here. And I should be left with 5. Okay. So take a moment, make sure that you're understanding um, those kind of types of problems. Those are the three I'm going to work out for you today. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to holler. Uh, however, using those notes and taking your time is really going to be the key to success for this assignment. Thank you, guys.